good afternoon, everybody. Sorry, uh, had a little bit of a internet problem there. We've got bad storms down here in Florida and uh, lost internet connection. So hopefully everybody is uh, able to hear me and the connection is going okay. If not, uh, please, please uh, comment and let me know so I can try and work on that for you. So uh, today we're going to be looking at the uh, Gen X Dairy Bull Search app, and we will be uh, going over some of the features that it has and some of the things that we can do within the app. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Uh, go ahead and uh, comment, and that way I can I can make sure I answer everybody's questions. So over here, you can see the home screen. I'll be going over the Windows version of the uh, Gen X Bull Search app today. Uh, you can get this on all Android devices as well as uh, iOS and Windows. So uh, they do vary a little bit, but for the most part, everything is really close to the same. So if you look here, uh, you have the Search Bulls Now. Um, and then the top left corner, the three lines, you have this menu, and then you also have uh, the three menus down here at the bottom. So uh, if you click on the menu at the top left, you get the option to sign in or create an account. And uh, when you do that, you can, uh, as a Gen X employee, sign in uh, under the Gen X tab. And if not, you can also sign in uh, either through Google, Facebook, Windows, or just down here, continue as a guest. And uh, for this one, I'll just go ahead and continue as a guest. Uh, that way you can kind of see some of the different features. Now, uh, as a guest, the one downfall is it will only save your filters and favorites, which we'll go into in a little bit. Uh, it'll only save that on this one device. So if you ever were to delete the app or if you were ever to uh, get a new phone, it would not be saved in the future. Now, if you log in and you use the same account to log in across all devices, you will have the ability to log in on a separate device or if you do get a new phone, uh, you can log back in and all of your filters and favorites will be saved. So here on the front screen, uh, we can search bulls. We can um, look at the beef on dairy program, which is a lot of people today are using uh, beef in their programs. So that's a, a great tool there. And then you also have the, the news section. So I really like the news section. Uh, gives you the ability to keep up with what's going on in, in Gen X and uh, see if any new products have rolled out or what new bulls may be coming. Uh, it's a great tool. So then on the on the favorite or I'm sorry, once you hit the menu, uh, you can go down here and you can search for an individual bull. You can go into favorites or saved filters. And I'm going to start with favorites. So. When you click on favorites, I've created some lists here just to give you guys an idea. So we have a. Uh, cow bulls, heifer bulls, uh, high fertility, and high milk. So let's say you're looking through the list and you see a bull in this list that you feel is one you really want to do, really want to use. Uh, search one bull here. So we see that he's extremely high on milk and that's a bull we really want to use and we want to add him to our favorites list on the milk side. So all you do is, is click the heart here on the individual bull page. Once you click that heart, it gives you the ability to 
add him to a list that you have already created under your favorites list. So we want to add him to the high milk list and we click this checkbox up here. And now in the future, when we go back to that list, you can click on high milk and that bull falls under that list. So great if you have a Gen X rep coming to your farm and you see some bulls that you really want to talk to them about, you can add those bulls to a list. And when he gets there, you don't have to search for him anymore. You can pull that list right up and say, these are some of the bulls that I'm really interested in and I'd like to get some information on. So if that, one of the other options we have is saved filters. So here I just have high milk and health, just two lists that I had created. But if you go back to your home screen and you click the menu here again, and bull search you see add filters here at the bottom you have the ability to click on that and search for different bulls based on different criteria so if you want to look at production traits and you want to sort them based on milk or cheese merit you can do protein and fat um, all of the the industry traits are here that you can sort bulls off of so you have the ability to pick uh, pick any individual bull or I'm sorry any individual trait and then once you pick any individual trait You can click the check mark down here on the right hand side and let's just do uh, net merit for instance So you can see what happens put 600 net merit uh, would be the minimum we'd be willing to go to and once you click out of that sh that bar and go to a different one it puts a green check mark over here on the right hand side which tells you when you filter for these traits, that is one trait that will be shown. Now, if you don't wanna put any specific criteria on that, you can go down the list and you can pick any trait that you wanna be seen on that list. That way, when you hit the check mark down here, you can go back in this here and pick it within any of these other areas. So, uh, if you want to look under ICC traits, we can search by ICC. We can search by calving ability, health, uh, just depending on what your operation is looking at. So once we select the traits we want to use, uh, we can click apply. And then all the traits that we had pre-selected will then be populated in the windows next to the bowl. That gives you the ability to look at multiple different traits across the board at one time. And when we're on this page, let's say you want to save this index or, or this uh, selection criteria for another day because you you know you you started looking, but you got busy on the farm and you've got to start looking at doing something different. So you can click up here in the top right hand corner. There's the three dots and click save filters. And then you can name that filter. So we'll just name, we'll just name this filter Gen X one and hit save. So what that has done is it has saved all of the filters that you have currently made into your saved filters list here. So if you click on Gen X one, it, it will repopulate all the bulls with the selection criteria that you had entered before. And this allows you to start over or uh, you know, do multiple different things at once. So if you're, you're on the farm and you get a quick second and you wanna take a look at bulls, you input your criteria, you, your phone rings and you've gotta go take care of something with a cow, you have the ability to just go ahead and save and come right back to it later without missing anything. You can save multiple different filters. As you can see here, I have uh, three so far, but this list is endless. And then you can also hit the trash can button up here. And if you want to get rid of one of those save filters lists, you can also uh, delete it by hitting the trash can on this side.
Now, uh, one of the things I like about this is uh, there's a lot of farms that have multiple different facilities. And if you, if you are doing something different at each facility and using a different type of bulls at each facility, you can go in here and name, you know, uh, dairy one, dairy two, dairy three. And that way, all your filters are saved with it for each farm individually. And you don't have to waste time going back and forth between different ones. You can set up all the criteria yourself, click on the list, and it'll auto populate with all those bulls that fit your criteria. And also, uh, you do have the ability to work with your local area person, uh, TSM breeder, and they can also help you walk through some of this stuff if you do have any other questions. So I see Mike Denton here wants me to uh, talk about A2A2. So under the ad filters, A2A2 is becoming very popular in, in multiple different areas. And uh, you look under general traits. You have the ability to pick between different breeds. You also have the ability to search under different indexes as well. So down here, additional general traits, you can sort by genomic or daughter proven. But then here you have your beta and your kappa cases. So you can actually sort all bulls within Gen X under this list. If you check mark A2A2 right here, you can click on the check mark down here. And again, the check mark. It will give you all A2A2 bulls within Gen X. Now, if you go back, if you want to save this, you can save this filter. You can aim at A2A2 tires. Click save. And then once you get back to this screen, you can go to saved filters and there's A2A2 sires. So you can click on A2A2 sires and again it auto populates with all the bulls within Gen X that are A2A2. You can also add additional traits to this, uh, whether it be milk or um, a certain number on the ICC index, you can do all of that within here and keep, you know, keep working on your list until you get the exact bulls you want. You do also have the ability to search for sex semen bulls. So this will give you the list here on the right hand side, you can swap between conventional and sex semen. This list is ever changing. So uh, you may or may not be able to get bulls on that list at that time, depending on availability, but it does give you the ability to look at some bulls that are uh, sex, gen choice, and also conventional. So I'm, I'm looking at some of the questions here. Uh, Leo. In the Windows version, when we do a bull report, the bars in the linear evaluation do not appear. They are necessary. Yes. Uh, oh, Gen X Dairy, thank you for already answering that. Um, we will we will look into that for you. It does typically appear when you do it, so uh, we'll see what we can find out. On this uh, original screen again. We can search for multiple different things. You can search uh, for individual bulls, whether you do the bull code, you can search by his short name, or you can do registration code. If you want to just look at all the bulls within that breed under Gen X as well, uh, you can search here by different breeds, Holstein, Jersey, mixed breeds, uh, Brown Swiss, Ayrshire, Guernsey, and milking shorthorn and you can also swap between current indexes for that breed as well and once you pick a breed we'll go with the uh, jersey right here you can click show bulls and it will show you all current available uh, gen x jersey bulls and you can also short sort by 
gen choice or sex semen and see the current availability on them as well. One of the other portions of this is the beef and dairy program. So if you search on, on the beef and dairy program, we, uh, we see a lot in the industry today that more and more farms are beginning to implement the usage of beef semen in their herd. So this is one place that you can currently look and see what's available um, through GenX and uh, what options we do have. So these are just some of the semen blends that we do have available, uh, as well as the preg check rankings. Um, you know, we want to talk to our local area person to uh, to make sure that you know all those avail all those uh, blends are still available and uh, what we're wanting to do with them. But uh, it gives you the ability to have something in your hand and ready to go when your when your person arrives. That way. You can uh, make the conversation quick. You can figure out exactly what you want and, and you can get back to work. So one of the other options on here, I'm going to go back to saved filters really quick and uh, just click on A2A2 sires. We have the ability to select bulls. So let's say we want to use, we want to pick four bulls out of this A2A2 list that we would like to use. We're going to go with Low Boy, Mad Boy, Livius, and Avellino. Once we click on the four bulls that we want to use, we can click on the three dots up here in the right hand corner. And we have the ability to do different things with those bulls. We can add them all to our favorites, and that'll give us the ability to add it to a specific list if we only want those four bulls added to our favorites list. Uh, we can export bull lists and bull details, and we can create genetic summaries. So on, uh, on the question from Leo, we want to create a genetic summary. And it's uh, creating the PDF currently. Sorry, it's uh, taking a little bit here. My internet connection is still not the greatest. It's not wanting to, to save that and, and move it over. But uh, once you click that, it gives you the ability to look at uh, the, the individual, or I'm sorry, the, the group averages of those four bulls. You have the ability to look at the industry averages. You have the ability to look at your list averages. And you also have the ability to look at uh, the, the company averages as far as Gen X goes. So you can kind of compare what the list that you're looking at using with the industry and, and the company as well. Uh, you have the ability to move, move bulls around and save multiple different options for multiple different options for the future. Uh, down here, you can also kind of look at some of the different things. You can contact us. Uh, which is going to give you the ability to reach out to our uh, customer service at GenX. Once you reach out to them, if you are in need of talking to somebody in your area about getting GenX bulls and and uh, you don't know who you need to speak with, if you reach out to them, tell them where you're at, they can definitely help you get some information on the person that would be able to help you out. Now, uh, is there any, that's most of the bull search app. 
you can sign in here and create an account like we had talked about earlier, and it gives you the ability to do a little bit more as far as being able to, to save those and look at them across multiple different uh, devices, whether it's your, if you have an iPhone or an iPad and a laptop at home and you want to download it to your laptop at home and work on it in the evenings, but then you get you get out on the farm and uh, your TSM is there to, to talk to you about bulls. As long as you're signed in with an account, you can pull that information up right on your phone once you've logged in and all that information from your laptop version has actually moved over to, to your phone version as well. So is there any questions or anything? I, again, I'm, I'm sorry I was a little delayed this morning. Down here in Florida, we've been nice, beautiful, sunny skies for most of the week except Monday. And, and this morning we woke up about 3 a.m. with tornado and hail advisories in my area. So I am sorry for the delay. Uh, I hope that we were able to answer anybody's questions. And uh, if there's anybody else that has any questions on the app or would like to like for me to go over anything else while we're here, please let me know. Please uh, type in the in the chat bar here so I can see your questions and I'd be glad to, to answer anything for you. So if there's there's no further questions, I greatly appreciate everyone's time and I, I greatly appreciate you taking your time out of your day to jump on here and be live with us. And hopefully we can do some, some more of these in the future and uh, bring some more information to the industry and to our customers.